yeah it is summertime officially although in vegas it feels like it's been summertime for the last like two three months so welcome back to my channel just wanted to throw up a quick and easy summer tutorial this is my almost like my everyday go-to when it comes to like a summer look most of the products that i use in this tutorial are going to have spf in them um, they're also going to be waterproof most like i said most so anyways this is my everyday summer go-to makeup look if you guys want to see how i got this look please keep watching all right hair's pulled back let's get ready for the tutorial so first i'm going to be using this first aid beauty ultra repair intensive lip balm if you're in anywhere that's dry and have cracked lips this is magical let me tell you next we're going to be using for our face instead of a moisturizer i'm going to be using the josie marin argan liquid gold self tanning face oil just patting this all over the skin and then we're going to go in with some spf which is going to be the tart guard by tart in spf 30. next to give our face a little bit of glow we're going to be patting on this magic lumi by l'oreal and of course we have to put on our hourglass veil this will make any foundation you put on waterproof and has SPF next we're gonna be going in with a beauty blender I'm gonna be using the one and done by urban decay I absolutely love this product also has SPF 20 in it and then we're gonna go in with any type of concealer it's completely up to you you can choose whatever you'd like for this tutorial I'm gonna be using the pro conceal in the color natural and you know I can't go a day without contouring my nose, girl. Just patting that out with my damp beauty blender and blending out my nose with my finger as always. Next product that I'm gonna be using is the Hard Candy Glow, and this is from Walmart. I can't tell you how long I have had this product. And it has a really nice just bronzy and also kind of like illuminator in it. So I'm using this as a bronzer for my cheeks. And I'm also taking that on the forehead and across the nose. I want to just make this look very fresh and natural as possible. I'm going to also be taking the Naked um, Illuminated Bronzer. This is in the color Lit. And I'm just putting this all over my face, my forehead, and around my jaw area. I also like using this product around my neck. It just gives like a really nice fresh glow to the skin. Okay guys, so this product is the new Cover FX um, Drops. Look how pigmented this color is. Holy smokeloni. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be using that with my damp beauty blender, applying it with my finger, and then just keep going in with the beauty blender to make it look as natural and skin-like as possible. I wanted to try it out before I bought it and let me tell you guys it is probably one of the best liquid illuminators I've ever tried I cannot wait to get my hands on it I'm also gonna be taking that down the bridge of my nose so that I am glowing to the gods it's just me but when I think summertime I think dewy and glowy <laughs> so with that being said we're gonna add our dewy skin mist all over the face and then we're gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill champagne palette and I'm gonna be using that Prosecco pop right on top of that illuminator Next, we're going to be going in with some blush. This is the NYX Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer All-in-One. And this is in the color Sugar Mama. This is the biggest freaking eyeshadow palette I've ever owned, but we're going to go in with this orange color and just add that into the crease. I'm using IT Cosmetics, um, actually, concealer dual side brush, but I'm using the fluffier side to just buff out that crease. And then I'm going in with the Makeup Forever palette and using this beautiful bronzy color. And I'm going to be also adding that to the crease, but also, if you notice, I'm kind of angling my brush downwards so that I can get some of that color and some of that pigment onto my lower lid as well. And then I'm going to be taking uh, the other side of that brush and going right underneath my brow onto the brow bone with the lighter shade of gold. And my dad was talking to me throughout this whole tutorial. He just had to come up on camera. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking that same color that I used underneath my brow bone with my finger so I can get the most pigmented, saturated color all over my lids. I'm going to be taking the same gold color that we added on the crease underneath the eye and then adding a little bit of waterproof mascara. It could be anything you guys like. I'm actually trying a new one that I got a sample of from Sephora to see if I like it. But any waterproof makeup would do or you can add some lashes to this look if you'd like to. Next 
we're gonna be moving on to the brows using Arca Brow by Benefit. And this product is waterproof. This is in the shade number four. I'm gonna be using this um, all over my brows and also using the powder in the number five. For the lips, since we did a bronzy look, I wanted to go in with a nice um, touch and pop of color. So I'm using the new black by Too Faced and this is one of their matte colors. It does have really good long staying power as well. So that is it for the option number one lip. Option number two is going to be a lip stain by YSL in the number 105. I've actually gone to the pool and gone swimming in this lip stain. When I got out, my color was still on my lips. So I love, love, love. I really hope you guys enjoyed this easy, fun, and fresh summer inspired makeup look. If you guys want to see any other looks for the summertime, please make sure you let me know down below and let me know what you thought of this look as well. I also have some fun and exciting new videos that are going to be up for you guys this week, so make sure that you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Mwah.